So today I want to share with you two things that I have made recently and the first one is Quick Sew 3807. Let me make sure that's right. Yes, yes, yes. And they are these straight leg leggings or jeggings I guess you could call them. And I purchased this fabric from Joann Fabrics and I thought it was so pretty. It is a corduroy and it's like this wine color. It's so pretty to me. So yes. Um, I really really love this pattern the pants are really tight fitting and they do have a zipper at the ankle on each side and because the pants fit so tight the uh, zipper is really really recommended um, otherwise you can put a slit there if you want but you will need to have a way to get your legs in and out because the pants fit really really tight I always put a button in the back instead of a label. I don't have any labels, so I put the button in the back just so I'll know which way was the front and which way was the back. And the other thing is that the waistband has an elastic. It's elastic inside, and they wanted you to sew the elastic down to the edge of the fabric and then fold it over but what I chose to do instead was to just make a casing so I just folded the um, fabric down and then I just thread the elastic through the opening so yes I love these pants okay so the next sewing make actually goes with these pants so let me grab that now this is simplicity 8415 however I made a top out of one of the patterns or one of the um, views so I took view C and instead of using it or making it a dress I made it into a top and the reason I did that is because this is a top that I made using scraps so I went through all my scraps and decided what I had enough to make and it turned out to be this top so this is what it looks like so I hope you can see that yeah so this is actually the same corduroy fabric that is in the pants and then the rest of these pieces are just leftover pieces of fabric that I just had in my stash the back is a is a black corduroy that I had so I put that in there now this pattern does call for an invisible zipper which was really long and I had to shorten the zipper because I needed some room to be able to fold up the bottom edge to create the hem. The sleeves are actually made out of knit which is the same fabric that I use for my cardigan. <laughs> and what else? That is it. Oh, I did put a little piece of trim down the seam, the, down the front here to cover up the seam because I just thought you know it would just give it a little pizzazz so yes but yes this whole garment is made from scraps and I'm really really excited about it so I will go ahead and show you what these two pieces look like on sewing this pattern I noticed that there was a little bitty small maybe misprint or a little small error and I'm gonna talk about that right now this is step number eight on the dress pattern okay so this is what the picture looks like and these are the directions so what it says is to stitch upper edge trim seam and then there's another set of directions that are in Spanish so I thought, wow, what a great opportunity for me to use my Google app to show you how it works with the camera option. So my love share for today is the Google Translate app. Okay, so the Google Translate app is this little blue one right here, blue and white one. So I'm gonna open that. And then once you open it, 
you want to click on the camera option. So there's other options like voice and everything, but we're going to do with a camera. Did I do it? Okay, then it says aim at text. Okay, so I have the phone open. I'm hovering over the directions on step number eight. And you can see how it's flipping back and forth. So it says trim seam in English. And then when you get over to the Spanish part, it says make cuts in curves. So it is actually translating it as you hold the camera over the text. So I thought that that was so, so cool. Yes, yeah, so that is my love share. So my love share for today is the Google Translate app, which I really, really love because you ha there's more than one way that you can use the app. But I was not familiar with the fact that you could actually use the camera mode to read different things. I thought that was so interesting. So I definitely wanted to share that with you. So thank you so much for watching. You will see me in the next video.